Hi, I'm John Treniff, retail sales urchin, Light in the Attic Records, Seattle, Washington, down here in Amoeba, LA, part of our 10th anniversary road trip. Uh, we came, started in Seattle, stopped at 60 some record stores down the West Coast, and it always culminates today, our 10th anniversary party, the El Rey. Here doing a little what's in my bag. Started off, it was really jazzed to find this Biff Bang Pow record. Creation Records, it was Al McGee started Creation. Not even close to the best record that came out in Creation, but still better than almost everything else. Gotta get it if you see it. Royal Trucks, the band, forever close to my heart. Pound for pound, $7.99, steal. For those times when you get that taste in your mouth, looking for a fight. Keith Hudson, flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood. This one will bring a tear to your eye. This is a special record. It's so far ahead, standing behind you. I gotta give a shout out to the Touch and Go mail order catalog, Circa 94. Stole that from that. But uh, this is like a super special, beautiful, mystical reggae record. Everybody's still catching up to this one. It's like with Dub Electronica, Show Out, New Wave, Chill Wave, Ethiopia, Ethiopia Peaks, Scarecrow Music, it's trying to do today. I'd be lying to myself and you if I didn't put a New Order record in here. Bernard Sumner, one of the most beautiful humanists of all time. It's the lyrics, how can you say something so plainly? Yeah, it just hits you right in the heartstrings every time. Brotherhood. This is Disco Balls by the group Rosebud, a secret French disco outfit featuring members of Magma, a French prog rock band. They did this record that was all disco covers of Pink Floyd songs. This being my favorite, the Have a Cigar 12 inch. This one's been a real game changer in my life lately, like nonstop. This is for like one of those times that just total dance floor incineration is the only acceptable alternative. P.I.L. Flowers of Romance, Quit Hayden. I don't know why anybody doesn't like this record. You can still find it in every $14.99, $5 bin in the country. Bleak, depressing, all the things you need if you live in Southern California. Why do people not like that record? I don't know. I, I wish. Somebody tell me. Probably because it's bleak, dismal, scary. It's got a really unique sound to it. Emptied out, cavernous, dubby. You know, felt. I mean, if I see a felt record, I have to buy it even if I already have it for somebody. You know, someone's gonna appreciate this. You gotta turn people on. To the best music in the world, Primitive Painters. I mean, that's the jam you know, even if you don't know felt, because it's got the girl from the Cocteau Twins on it. Enough said. And then, the one new thing in my pile, reissue, that doesn't really count, Sensations Fix. 
This is like some ambient Italian Prague. You know how that goes. I, mean, I don't have to tell you about that. And then last but certainly not least, Sick Alps self-titled New Jammer. It's like some indie slop circa now, sounding like 94. You know, I've been pulling for these guys for years. They finally pulled it off. Nice work, dudes. That's all I got. Silver magic ships you carry, jumpers, coke, sweet Mary Jane.